Hello and welcome to RHP's World of Work webinar. We're Geraldine and Jazz um, and we're learning and development advisors for RHP. We're going to show you a world of opportunities that are available for young people, our customers and local residents. Thanks Jazz. I'm going to start by talking about apprenticeships and there's never been a better time for people to consider uh, an apprenticeship. The government are heavily promoting them at the moment through the Get In and Go Far campaign and they've signed up some of Britain's biggest and brightest companies to offer apprenticeships. So the sort of companies involved at the moment are BMW, ITV, Barclays, Aviva and Boots. An apprenticeship helps people to gain skills and knowledge and in some cases goes up to degree level and you do this whilst working and earning. If you're over 16, you can apply for an apprenticeship, various levels depending on your current skills. So you can either start at intermediate, advanced, or as I said, higher level apprenticeships. Apprenticeships are real jobs. So apprentices earn a salary, they work for at least 30 hours, and depending on the level, they take between one and five years to complete. On completion, 90% of apprentices stay in employment and employers surveyed about apprenticeships think that apprentices are 15% more employable than those with other qualifications. Currently, apprentices, apprenticeships are available in more than 170 industries covering over 1,500 job roles from mechanic, mechanics, accountants, engineers, in retail and in office-based places. And the government is committed to creating up to 3 million apprenticeships by 2020. All the contact details for apprenticeships are on the screen at the moment. So here at RHP, we introduced our apprenticeship scheme in 2009 to give younger customers and local residents a proper job opportunity. We offer the Level 2 and the Level 3 Diploma in Business Administration, which covers all aspects of working in an office-based team, alongside the opportunity to achieve a professional qualification. Currently, we have apprentices working in the Health and Safety Team, Housing Team, Communication, Performance Teams, as well as uh, an apprentice studying for a PA qualification. For those who don't wish to work in an office environment, we also have places on our estate services team working as a caretaker and studying for the Level 1 award in customer service. Initially, when we started the scheme in 2009, it was for three apprentices, but we've expanded over the years and we now offer nine office-based apprenticeship places and three places on our caretaking team. Apprentices join RHP on a one-year fixed-term contract uh, to complete the Level 2 diploma and most go on to complete the Level 3 in the second year. Apprentices are employees of RHP, so they're entitled to all of our employee benefits and we pay above the suggested apprenticeship rate. Our apprentices work a 36-hour week with up to six hours of that week to complete their diploma. Our aim is that by the end of their training, they will have the administrative, business and the customer service skills to gain employment either within RHP or other organisations. We're really proud that so far 10 of our business admin apprentices have got jobs at the end of the scheme either here at RHP or externally and seven of our caretaker apprentices have also had full-time employment. Here's Freddie's story. I worked as an apprentice in the communications team before applying for a full-time permanent role with the asset services team. I completed my level three in business admin and gained so many new skills in the process. This was definitely the right choice for me. So if you're interested in applying for a, an apprenticeship opportunity at Richmond Housing Partnership, you would need to uh, contact an organization called Way to Work. Way to Work help employers recruit suitable young people who are interested in apprenticeships and they're based in Twickenham and they cover employers in the West, South West, South and Central London. Some of their current vacancies are on the screen. Their assessors support apprentices with their qualifications and they visit regularly. 
If you don't have A to C grade in English, Maths or ICT, they will also support you to continue to work towards these subjects. If you're aged between 16 and 19 years and you're interested either in an apprenticeship here at RHP or apprenticeships in the area, then you'd need to contact way to work and have an initial interview with them. I've put up some of our vacancies that we currently have for apprentices at RHP. If you're interested in local apprenticeship opportunities in either Richmond or Kingston, there's also a website called Future Hub, which lists all of the local opportunities. And again, there's some examples of recent vacancies that they've had on their site for apprenticeship. Thanks, Geraldine. I'm going to talk to you about the graduate scheme. So at RHP, we employ one graduate a year. Uh, recruitment usually starts in September or October time, and we've received lots and lots of applications. Our graduate scheme is so popular as a successful candidate is able to work across all areas of the business to gain a real understanding of how we work and what makes us tick. The graduate will bring their ideas and enthusiasm to each and every project they work on to improve the way we do things here. Our graduates go through a rigorous recruitment selection process, which usually lasts an entire day. Once appointed, they get stuck straight in with the first team. For the bigger teams, the graduate will spend more time with them. At the end of the year, the graduate is guaranteed a management position with us. So, so far, we've had six graduates go through the scheme, all of which have been successfully appointed and four of which still remain with our HP. The other two went on to other successful management opportunities. We've just closed the applications for this year's graduate, but look out for opportunities next summer if this is what you're interested in. There are times at RHP when we decide to do things a little bit differently, so recently we appointed a surveyor position for a graduate too. This made sense for us to do as we were looking for someone with the technical skills, but not necessarily the work experience. This is James's story. I joined RHP in September 2012, and after three years of fun, challenges and development, I have worked my way up to become head of operations for our partner company, Co-op Homes. The graduate program acted as a launch pad for me to shine in this great company. If you are willing to work hard, learn fast, and actively find ways to improve the services for our customers, you will love this role. So lastly, I'm going to talk to you about positive steps. Positive Steps is a service that we provide to help customers find work. It is a fairly new scheme, running for about 16 months now, but we've had lots and lots of success with it. Our two employment brokers run the show. Their names are Mabel and Donna. Although the scheme is new, Mabel and Donna both come with plenty of years' experience in helping people find work. They don't just send people off to interviews. They do the whole journey from start to finish. This includes updating your CV and showing customers top tips to writing their own CV. They do cover letters and interview techniques. For people that have been out of work for some time, interviews can be really nerve-wracking. So they'll also do mock interviews and coaching. They can assist customers find relevant training to grow or widen their current skill set, job searches, and even help with application forms. They'll look at local employers to source suitable vacancies and help find in voluntary work and apprenticeships too. The scheme is open to all customers living in one of our properties, and this includes anyone living in the household. It's for um, people aged 16 to 64 years of age. Since the scheme opened, just to give you an idea, we've helped over 80 people back into work or training, which is a huge amount of our customers. If you're interested in speaking with our team, the numbers for Mabel and Donna um, are on our website, but you can also email um, at positivesteps at rhp.org.uk. Thank you for listening to us. If you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer. We've had a question, Em. If I did an apprenticeship with RHP, would I definitely get the job afterwards? Um, thank you. We don't guarantee uh, employment at the end of the apprenticeship. However, it is our target to get all of our apprentices into full-time employment. So we start working with our apprentices six months before they complete their qualification. Um, and as part of that, we do CV writing, interview skills and job searches. 
a lot of our um, apprentices will apply for vacancies within RHP um, and they go through the same um, recruitment process as any external candidate. We've been really successful with getting our apprentices into work. 90% uh, of our apprentices that have been through the scheme um, so far have got full-time employment at the end of their apprenticeship. And of our caretaking uh, uh, apprentices, 80% of those have got into full-time employment. So although we don't guarantee uh, a job at the end of it, we do everything we can to help support people to get into full-time employment. And another question. Do I need any qualifications to become an apprentice with RHB? No, you don't actually. You need a lot of enthusiasm and you need to show a strong work ethic. Um, we do prefer people to have uh, maths, English and, and IT skills, but if you haven't got those, it doesn't really matter because once you're on the apprenticeship scheme, as well as studying for your qualification, we also support you to uh, continue to get those qualifications as well. So that at the end of your apprenticeship, you've got nationally recognised qualifications that are recognised by employers. I think we've got time for one more question. So, I'm 48 and have been out of work for a long time. How can you help me? Okay, so um, I'll take that question. Well, Donna and Mabel are absolutely the right people to help. So there are positive steps to being um, on our employment brokers. If you've been out of work, it's not a problem. Donna and Mabel will sit down with you, have a look at your CV, see where your skill set is, see where the gaps are and take it from there. So I'd really encourage anyone to, to, uh, to go speak to them. Thank you.